let's have some fun here. Guided warm up part to part. So uh, a nearby tree that is 20 feet tall. Everybody, what am I doing wrong? Right, I didn't read the question. I didn't read the question. I gotta do my job here. I have got to read the question. So here, the question is where I start. How tall is a street sign that casts a 21 foot long shadow or casts a shadow 21 feet long? Either way, same thing. But yeah, there's my question. So here it says, how tall is the street sign? Okay, so I'm gonna say T is how tall the street sign is. And then it says it has a shadow 21 feet long. If you have any suspicions about, hey, uh, yo, is this a proportion problem, coach? Well, notice how in that same question sentence, it goes, how tall is this 21 foot long object? Notice that that number that you don't know the answer is already being compared to something else. This is a hint that this is a proportion problem. So we don't know how tall the street, line, street, street sign is. And then it says, as a 21 foot long shadow. What do I do with that information? Hold your horses, take it nice and slow. Let's read the information and see if there's anything that we can kind of work with here. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more, but mainly in our course, you're gonna get access to recorded lessons. You're gonna get access to guided practice just like this worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. Let's take it out. So here. If we go to the top here, a nearby tree that is 20 feet tall casts a shadow 12 feet long. Everybody, um, remember that whole thing about proportions are comparing the same things in the same way? Do you see the same things being compared here? Is that clear to you? Do you see the same things being compared? Yeah, I see it. Notice how over here we're talking about how tall an object is, how tall this tree is, and how long the tree's shadow is. And then in the question it says, how tall is a street sign that has a shadow 21 feet? Height, how tall versus shadow. In two sentences happens twice. That is comparing the same things in the same way. Well, the same things being compared. We have to compare them the same way to do a proportion the right way. But we see that we have things being compared. The same things are being compared. We got to make sure they're compared in the same way. So with that, let me write that in blue here. We see that we have a tree, 20 feet tall, shadow, 12 feet long. Let me write that down. So for the tree, and I'm going to say this for the street sign, but for the tree, we have 20 feet Tall, 21, or excuse me, not 21, 12 foot shadow. Take a look there. So here's what we're going to do, everybody. However we come, we set this up, however we set it up, as long as you can visually confirm that you are comparing the same things in the same way, you are good. Here's the main way that you can set this up. But there's, again, like four different ways you can do this, and it'll all be correct. One way you can do it is like this, T over 21, because notice this is how tall the street sign is. This is how long the shadow is. So tall or height, height over shadow. If I go to the right side here, everybody, what needs to go first? If I, if I set it up like this, what needs to go up top first? Right, that same comparison. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
that T represents how tall the street sign is. On the left side, on the top, we need to put how tall the tree is. And that'll be 20 up here. And then the bottom, this is shadow. So then this would compare with the shadow. Compare the same things in the same way. So again, this is the height. Height. So height on top and then shadow on bottom. Shadow on bottom. Compare the same things in the same way. My party people, does that make sense? Yes or no? Awesome. And again, there's a few different ways that you can set this up. I'm going to give you a few more examples, but then we're going to solve this. You could have also set it up like this. You could have done T over 20 equals 21 over 12. Because both of these represent how tall and both of these represent the shadow. And so this first one represents the street sign, tree, street sign, tree. Same comparison in the same way. That would work. We could also do it backwards. If you wanted to do 21 over T equals 12 over 20, that also works because you're still comparing the same things in the same way. Regardless of how you set it up, as long as you set it up correctly, the answer is going to come out correct. So we can go ahead and just focus on this one here. No worries because understanding you can set it up a million different ways. Hey, that comes with practice. Let's just focus right here on this. So with that, by just looking at this, what's the standard way that we can solve this, everybody? What's the standard way that we can do this? Right? Cross, multiply, and divide, right? Cross, multiply, and divide would be the easiest way to do it. I mean, we could just go and straight up do it right there. Or, or we could uh, try to simplify first. Take a look, everybody. Take a look. Is it possible to simplify 20 over 12? Is that simplifiable? Could we simplify that? Could we simplify that? We could, right? What are 20 and 12 both divisible by? What are 20 and 12? Oh, four. Is that going to give us an easier time? Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's give ourselves the opportunity to get this done the right way. So if I do 20 divided by 4, 12 divided by 4, what does that give us now? That'll be T over 21 equals, okay, 20 divided by 4, that's going to be 5. 12 divided by 4, that's going to be 3. And my eyes bad party people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you, and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now, and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. Okay, everybody. Um, first of all, if we were going to still cross, multiply, and divide, would that be a lot easier? 5 times 21 versus 20 times 21? Yeah, that's a lot easier, right? I, I hope we can see that that is a lot, that is a ton easier. So you've already given yourself an easier opportunity on the ASVAD by doing that. And now, exactly, Jonathan, instead of cross multiplying and dividing, what could we do here to solve this like that in one step instead of two? Compare the same things in the same way, right? If I wanted to go from five to the answer, I got to know how to go from 3 to 21. Everybody, how do I go from 3 to 21? Yeah, times 7. I can multiply 3 by 7 to get 21. So if I'm going from right to left on the bottom, I can go from right to left on top in the same exact way. Compare the same things in the same way. PBS, the more you know. So here, 5 times 7 is how we'll do things. Five times seven, everybody. That's the hardest question of the day. What is that? 35. And there you go. T equals 35. 35 what, everybody? 35 feet. That's right. 35 feet. Booyah. And you're good.
And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you wanna raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.